Hey, today we're going to do an install video for you. We're not going to detail the entire install, but we're going to do just some sections and kind of give you the highlights. But what we're doing today is we're installing the CKM TA12 ARB compressor on the metal cloak underhood bracket, which is these two pieces that tie into the brake booster. The S-Pod underhood source control box, which is the relays, fuses, and everything for up to six accessories. And this is the component to the S-Pod that goes up under the, up inside the vehicle. It has the six switches, and this particular one has a gauge hole for two and a sixteenth inch gauge. And we're going to use the Air Zenith digital air pressure gauge. So follow along and we'll get going. Remove the horn by unplugging the two electrical connections and the 10 millimeter bolt holding the horn to the fender. Test fit the two brackets. Drill out the front hole to 1730 seconds to prepare for the nutsert installation. Assemble the compressor to the bracket with the air intake facing the forward toward the front of the engine. Put the bracket and air pump assembly in place. Start the two side bolts the front one's a 13 millimeter head, the rear one is a 10 millimeter head, and the bolt holding the master cylinder is a 13 millimeter. Now is a good time to make modifications if you are installing a remote air fitting from Rock Your 4x4. This is done by removing the 10 millimeter bolts on the back side of the center fan assembly pulling it open and gaining access to the port for the 90 degree fitting. Put some Teflon tape on it, screw it in, and then you can reattach the fan assembly, giving enough clearance for this fitting to pass through the window at the top. Install the intake air filters and now remove the two 10 millimeter bolts from the fender in preparation for the source S-Pod unit. Wrap the wiring neatly across the back of the firewall and zip tie it to the main harness. This is easily accessible with the engine cover removed on 2012 newer 3.6 engines.
In this application, we've modified the ARB supplied harness to have just the trigger for the relay assembly from switch one of the S-Pod unit. Follow the instructions with the S-Pod manual. This includes removing the A-pillar trim and other trim around the windshield including the two sun visors. Since this is a special case with the Air Zenith gauge, we won't go into detail on how we hooked up all of the wiring, but it is integrated into the S-Pod. So when you turn the switch on for the indicator lights, the gauge receives power and toggles between voltage and pressure until the button is turned off. The wiring runs along the harness with the S-Pod wiring to the sending unit that will be located under the hood. It's now time to reinstall all the plastic trim as well as the switch panel overhead. It's a little tricky sometimes to get the wire to tuck into place, but once you get that wiring tucked into place then you can start the two Phillips head screws that hold the switch panel to the switch panel bracket that was secured previously on top of the footman loop over the rear view mirror. Now you can route the wiring and reattach all the trim and the sun visors. Route the wiring through the firewall and connect it to the underhood source. Find a suitable location for the remote disconnect fitting. 
Here is the remote fitting hose with the Air Zenith sending unit being attached in line.